Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's NDB Sketch back with another video. As you guys can see from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw Zula step by step with like her crazy hair from like the ending of Avatar, The Last Airbender. Let me know who your favorite character is down below. She's actually my favorite character from the show. Let me know who yours is in the comments. Um, it's going to be a step by step tutorial, so make sure you guys watch this full video so you don't miss anything. Subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications. Leave a like, let's try and get at least 50 likes on this video. And yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, you guys, so to start it off, you know, you just want to start with a circle. I use a circle. Um, honestly, you don't really have to use a circle. All you need, the main important, the main thing is just to have the two lines in there so that you can cut the face in half and keep it proportionate. Um, I noticed that when you start with a sketch, like it's, for me personally, I like to start with the eyes and like the nose area because that's like the center of the face. I find it easier to just build off when you start with the eyes and like the nose area uh, compared to like starting with like the body or like, the top of his head or something like that. Also, when you guys are sketching, you want to make sure you're like super light with your pencil. You don't want to press on hard until you actually finish the sketch. So you can get like the final details and kind of like darken some areas. But yeah, when you're holding your pencil super tight, you're gonna press on harder. So you actually wanna hold your pencil like near the edge of the pencil so that you know when you get like a light stroke when you're sketching. I make a like a little box area for the eyes just so I know that the eyes stay in that area so that they stay proportionate. All right, so now right here, I'm about to start adding in like her jawline and her hair. Her hair is like super crazy in this. And the jawline basically kind of just stays on the circle line. Even if I didn't put a circle, I'll still make it the same way just by looking at what I'm drawing. And then I kind of start adding in her nose, like her facial features and then her lips. All right, so now you basically finished on her face. Now you wanna move on to drawing her hair. You kinda wanna just build off the face, basically. Your hair is pretty crazy. You wanna draw on like her bangs. All right, so now you want to start adding more of a hair. Like I said before, her hair is crazy. Pause the video so you can keep up. The ear always is, is always right next to the eye, in case you guys didn't know. So I just add the ear and then start adding in her hair after that. Now you just want to add in like her neck and like her little uh, rope. Now you just want to start adding in the rest of her hair. Her hair is basically just a bunch of waves kind of like waves you want to be light with your pencil like i said in the beginning i make a lot of waves and start adding like little uh like lines in her hair to show like the creases like the parts in her hair um i know you guys are about to say it's too fast it's too fast bro pause the video please pause the video just try your best to follow along you can only do that by pausing the video now you guys want to basically repeat the same process making like wavy lines uh for her hair and then yeah that's pretty much it for her hair All right, so now for the final part of the drawing, my favorite part, adding your shading, um, adding your detail. This is when you want to press down hard on your pencil. You want to go over it, the whole sketch, um, like the outline of the sketch, pressing down hard. Then you want to start adding your shade, and when you're shading, you want to go in one direction. So, or you want, and like unless you want to do like cross hatching, you can like cross hatch. But for me, I just like going in one direction. Um, and yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the drawing. I'm not gonna pause it. You guys can see what I did. Hopefully your drawing ends up like this. If it didn't, try again. If it didn't, try again after that. Keep practicing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.